I'm Andrew Johnston. I'm a consultant in intensive care medicine and anaesthetics. I get patients off to sleep for major surgery and keep them alive despite what the surgeon's doing to them. Anaesthesia is the biggest hospital speciality, so there's more anaesthetists than any other speciality. And our role is throughout the hospital in theatres, which is what most people think of, but in intensive care, in the management of patients with pain, in resuscitation. So we have fingers in many different, many different pies. I can't remember what I wanted to be when I was seven. <laughs> I really can't. I, mean, I came from, a, my father was a doctor, and so I was sort of, you know, in a medical family and brought up with, you know, on calls and him rushing out of the house. So I knew it was hard work, but I saw that it was a great sense of satisfaction to him that he dealt with his patients well. I was lucky I went to a good school. There's a lot of people went off to medical school, so it was a sort of, you know, it was, if you were doing sciences at A-level and were doing well in them, it was definitely something that was you, you thought about, and it was a, a relatively easy thing for me to go to do at university. I'm very lucky in that respect. Becoming an anaesthetist, I mean, if you'd asked me when I was you know, at school, or even when I was at medical school, you know, what does an anaesthetist do? I would have had very little insight into it. The thing that really excited me was the very, very unwell, very sick patients coming in who needed immediate resuscitation, um, and the anaesthetists would race down and would take control of the situation, and without a bead of sweat or anything, they'd have things under control. And that really, it was then that I knew I wanted to do intensive care. It is difficult. The work itself is hard. There's long hours, a lot of on-calls. You're going to have to work nights and weekends. And by the nature of our work, there's going to be episodes that are incredibly difficult, patients that really affect you. Those can be very tough, and you'll probably remember them for the rest of your career. About 15% of our patients will, will die whilst they're in the intensive care unit. And supporting them and their families during that time can be very tough and very emotionally draining, but also very, very rewarding. Well, once you're a consultant, you've sort of reached your, <clears throat> your ultimate goal, but I mean, there's still many different avenues that can be explored. I mean, I've chosen to specialize predominantly in intensive care medicine, which is an extremely exciting area of medicine, and there's a lot of unanswered questions, and all of those unanswered questions require further explorations. So it's just really the start of a long 30-year career full of twists and turns and ups and downs. You know, it's a difficult journey, but it's a very, very rewarding one.